today we will set up a virtual setup uh, lab setup that means we will install a uh, rhl operating system using that operating system we will practice what we will learn in the future classes so in last class we have uh, learned that linux operating system can operate in gui and command line mode linux kernel is the main component and x86 hyphen 64 that refers to 64 bit i386 refers to 32 bit and dot rpm is the red hat packet manager slash is the slash is called as root which is the parent directory in linux root user is the super user slash root is the home directory for root user home directory for other users are located in slash home linux designed as directory and file structure default browser is the firefox and the some troubleshooting commands are ping telnet and ns lookup and system controller shutdown and restart these things we have already learned in previous class so today we will prepare the virtual lab setup using that uh, lab or using that operating system we will practice what we will learn in the future classes so for this lab setup we required a operating system uh, that is maybe rhl 7 or 9 or centos 7 or 8 you can use any of the operating system but uh, the difference is in case of centos we will get the packages from the centos repository and we will create a virtual operating system virtual server using the vmware player and we will also use the tools like putty filezilla or WinRCP. so this is the requirement uh, for the virtual lab setup let me tell you one thing uh, yesterday i have told you os are two types client os and server operating system in server operating system windows server that is uh, server 2012 16 19 in RH in Linux, that is RHL, CentOS, Ubuntu, and other operating systems. But there is another operating system is also there, that is hypervisor operating system. That is in case of Windows, that is Windows Hyper V. In case of VMR, that is ESXi. And RHL also provides the hypervisor operating system. But the difference between the server operating system and the hypervisor operating system is when you will install the hypervisor operating system that server will be capable to host virtual machines on that physical server so let me show you this is a server where i have installed the hypervisor operating system and using that operating system i can create multiple servers that is called virtual server or vm in that physical server so hypervisor operating systems feature is that which will allow me to create virtual machines on a physical server so today what we will do we will install the vmware player this is a small software which will allow me to create virtual machines in my desktop and likewise you can also use the virtual box and windows hyper v for this requirement but vmr player is a very light software so it is easier to install and easier it is easier to work with vmr player so we will use the vmr player as a virtual setup requirement so this is the uh, vmr workstation what i have already installed here we will create a virtual machine here i will install the operating system later then i will select the linux because i am going to install the red hat enterprise linux 8 from the drop down menu also we can select the rhl 8 then go to next here select the location where i need to install the operating system please remember the installation procedure of rhl 8 is same as rhl 7 uh, sorry centos uh, 8 or 7 i have created the rhl 8 folder there all the configuration file will be saved 
then here we need to define the uh, disk size what will the operating system disk size and this needs to be a single file then click on next then you can customize the hardware hardware here here i need to uh, customize the memory processor and according to the requirement you can also add the uh, hard disk here I just use the 1 GB memory and one CPU. Then click on close, then finish. So you can see virtual machine is created. So now we will mount the DVD operating system. That means I will mount the ISO image. Select the DVD. Here use the ISO image file. Then browse the ISO image. then okay and this option should be selected connect at power on then okay then start the virtual machine so here select the install red hat enterprise linux 8.0 then click uh, press enter so now operating system booted with the iso image Here, the language are selected English and English, United English. Click continue. Here, click on the installation destination. Select the hard disk and click on done. Then software selection. Here many more options are there. We can take the minimal installation so that it will uh, take less time to install the operating system. Then other options let it be like that. Network if you want to configure the IP address here you can configure but as we are creating the uh, VM in, uh, VMR player it will work on DHCP so nothing to do here. then click on the begin installation so here create a root users password as i told you root user is a uh, master user of the administrative user linux operating system then create another user make it as administrator so that whenever if any problem arises with the root user you can use this user also click on done so it will take some time to complete the installation installation completed is requires a google reboot and once we uh, reboot the server, server will be ready to use. So once uh, installation completed, here it will show the all the VMs you have installed. Here you can use the root users and uh, root password to log in the VM. You can directly use the VM to uh, execute the commands and another way is the to access the server through putty. So whenever you will install a uh, virtual machine in VMR player, it will assign an IP address to that VM. Using that IP address, we can access the server through putty. So this is the terminal. Here you can use the commands to, to execute. Let me show you, I have already told you that uh, the root user's home directory is slash root. So whenever I will use the uh, root user to log into the server, we will directly 
in the root users home directory to check that you can use the command pwd you can see slash root is the root users home directory so to check the ip address you can use the command ipa so here you can see this is the ip address of this vm 192.168.32.37.133 using the putty software this is a small software through which we can connect to the server 192.168.37.130 so using this IP address, we can connect to the virtual machine. So, give the user as root and password. Now, if you use the PW command, you can see now I have been. This is the another way to access to the virtual machine. Here in host field, give the IP address of the server 192.168, then 37.130, and the user will be root, password will be root. Please remember port will be 22. So, using port 22, we can connect through the FileZilla software to the virtual machine, and then here you can see left hand side is my desktop and right hand side is the uh, virtual machine so here you can see i am in slash root because i am uh, logging to the server root user so i am in slash root whenever i will transfer a file to the server at the time that file will be in slash root downloaded to the slash root So, I will transfer the telnet package. I have already told you in case of uh, RHL or CentOS, the software will be called as uh, uh, package. Here you can see successfully transferred. Now, check in putty. Here we are in slash root. So package is uploaded to the slash root. Now I am in slash root in the server. So if you will check the, you can see parallel package is transferred to the server. So same thing we can also take in the server. We are in PWD, that means you in slash root. Then you can see package telnet is installed to the, uh, sorry, uploaded to the server. So this is the way to install a virtual machine and access a virtual machine. So we can access the virtual machine directly or we can access the virtual machine or virtual server through um, the putty tool and filezilla is the tool through which we can transfer the packages from my desktop to the virtual machine so this is the way we can uh, install a virtual machine and uh, we can access a virtual machine so today we have learned how to set up a virtual lab that means using rhl or centos operating system and how to access the server through putty and how to transfer files through the files in a client. Okay, thank you, sir. Good night. Okay, good night. Thank you, friends. Thank you for attending this session. Thank Please you, uh, join tomorrow at 10 p.m. Good night. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.